Dedicated in 1939, the Tallman Island Sewage Treatment Plant was completed in time to treat sewage flowing from the site of the 1939 World's Fair in Flushing Meadows Park. The facility was built on a sparsely developed island situated in the East River, west of Powell's Cove in the College Point neighborhood of Queens. The plant was the third to go into operation in New York City and the first in Queens. It continues to treat the sewage of northern Queens today. Tom Island, that's the northest part of 127th Street and Powell's Cove Boulevard. Right now, it serves uh, the areas of College Point, uh, Flushing, and Bayside. There's been many upgrades. Right now, we're also going through an upgrade. The uh, older equipment uh, is all being uh, redone. We're getting all new uh, main sewage pumps. Uh, all the tanks are redone. Uh, new systems to ensure better water quality. And um, the big factor now is uh, denitrification, which we're also putting in systems to handle that. I grew up in the, in the Flushing area, uh, so I had witnessed the upgrades, and I can honestly say in the past over 40 years that the water quality has improved greatly. April of 2014 marked Tallman Island's 75th anniversary. It was an opportunity to recognize the plant's history and to celebrate the stewardship of so many workers, past and present. And the commitment to build these plants is really just as much a hallmark of what it took to make New York City a great city as it did to build the reservoirs and the aqueducts. People who came before you and now your generation now have operated this plant 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Uh, and as the commissioner said, without this plant and the other ways which you in the city, you couldn't have eight and a half million people living here. Thanks to the dedication of those that came before us and those that continue treating wastewater today, New York Harbor is healthier now than it has been at any time in the last century.